Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Rubble Train. Today's video, I'm going to explain about the techniques of inventory control. I already explained about the inventory control. What do you mean by inventory control? And what are the objectives of inventory control? So in this video, I'm going to explain you about the techniques of inventory control. We have actually five techniques. ABC analysis, HML analysis, SDE, BED and FSN. So these are the five techniques we have and I'm going to explain you about all of them in this video. So make sure that you watch the video till the end so that you can understand it um, everything clearly. And so let's get into the video now. First comes the ABC analysis. So what does ABC mean? Always better control. So the abbreviation of ABC is always better control. Okay. So um, it is one of the form of the inventory control as I said it is one of the technique of the inventory control here you ca classify the materials into three categories not only in ABC in all the uh, techniques of inventory control that we are going to discuss in this video you will be classifying the materials into three types okay the f um, and here in case of ABC the first A stands for highly important materials B stands for moderately important materials C stands for least important materials so for any organization there will be some um, materials which are highly important for example in our case also in our uh, daily life also there are some uh, materials we have which are very important for us right like our uh, daily uh, you know pulses or rice so dal so all those are very important and we have some moderately important materials also like you know sauces mayonnaise or they are not very important for us just moderately important or you can just tell them least important as well right so uh, even in the in, in case of industries also uh, the the raw material which the industries are having can be classified into three types highly moderately and least important according to the ABC analysis okay so ABC analysis will divide the materials based on the importance of that material okay done so now we will see a graph which will uh, give you more clarity about what ABC analysis is before seeing the graph let's understand this table first so this is category ABC um, highly important uh, moderate important and least important okay and this is the value and this is the quantity so the value of A is 70 and the B is 25 and C is 5 okay and the quantity how much how many units of A you need uh, value 70 in the sense it's not price or it's not demand or anything the importance the priority percentage you can say okay and the quantity 10 units 30 units and 60 units okay so which is the one you need in more quantity this C right but still the value of C is very less right so if the product is having even more quantity but less value that should be given a little control that means you know what inventory control is right the stock should not go out of stock you should um, make sure that the raw material will never go out of stock so the more priority should be given to this so here constant control is required that means more control strict control is required in this case okay even though the quantity required is less since it is having more value since it is most important material so it has to be given more control next moving over to B B is having value as 25 and quantity as 30 so irrespective here in ABC um, uh, analysis quantity is not matter for us only value is matter for us right so 25 is it, it is having of course it is a bit lesser than 70 but it is more than 5 right so it has to be given normal control moderate control need based that means whenever you are having need with it then you need to get it okay next comes the C for C the value is very less that is 5 so it can be given very little control so according to the value according to the importance of the material control should be given right what control inventory control what do you mean by inventory control make sure making sure that the raw materials will never go out of the stock okay so let us understand it with a graph so here is the quantity here is the value okay done so a b c got it so this is about the abc analysis in abc analysis most priority is given to the importance of the material rather than the quantity of the material okay done so this is about the abc analysis as i said we have some more analysis as well let us see them now and the next analysis we are going to learn is the second method that we are going to learn is fast slow non FSN analysis where FSN means fast slow non fast, fast moving slow moving and non moving so what do you mean by moving uh, the frequency we can say based on the frequency of usage of materials so 
and previously in abc analysis what we did irrespective of the frequency of usage that means irrespective of the quantity we gave more priority to the importance of that material right here we are giving more priority to the quantity so based on the frequency of usage of material we are going to control here okay so f stands for fast moving fast moving in the sense they are having more frequency since they are having more frequency since they are most frequently used materials they have to be given more control good control or strong control you strict control anything you can say and second then comes the slow moving so slow moving in the sense less frequency so that should be given a normal freq a normal control or a moderate control you can say and n stands for non moving so in case of non moving uh, it has no frequency right which means you need not give it any control you need not control those kind of materials okay so this is about fsn analysis abc analysis why i have explained it about explained about it elaborately is you need to understand what the i mean the three stages the difference between the three stages because if you understand that clearly all of them will become easy for you right so i'm uh, winding fsn soon because of that fast moving slow moving and non moving based on the frequency of usage of materials we are going to do in the fast moving in uh, fsn analysis okay next comes the hml analysis in hml analysis they stand for high medium low okay so what is this high medium low it is a cost cost per unit not co entire cost it's cost per unit what do you mean by cost and what do you mean by cost per unit you need to know that first. Suppose you are buying ten pens, and your ten uh, pens are costing you hundred rupees. Then in that case, this hundred rupees is your cost, right? You know this. But what do you mean by cost per unit? That means per each pen, per unit. Per unit means what? One, right? So for one pen, how much it's costing you? That is hundred by ten, which is ten rupees, right? So for one pen, what is it cost? For one unit, how much you are getting is cost per unit. So here it is based on cost per unit, right? So H is high cost per unit, M is medium cost per unit, and L is low cost per unit. Okay, and high cost should be given more control, medium cost should be given medium control, and low cost should be given low control. Okay, so this is about the HML analysis. In HML analysis, H stands for high, M is medium, and low, L is low. And this H high, medium, and low are the cost per unit of the particular raw material. And the more cost one has to be given more priority, more control. And the low, medium cost one has to be given medium control, low cost one has to be given low control. Okay. done so this is about hml analysis and we have two more analysis uh, sde and ved so let's learn about them now so till now we have seen what abc analysis is what um, fsn is and what hml is right we have two more uh, left out which is uh, ved and sde analysis okay what do you mean by ved vital essential and desirable okay so this vital essential and desirable are categorized based on the importance of that material in the production so when you are manufacturing some product there will be some uh, products based uh, there some raw material based on their priority right some will be very important some will be less important like that so based on the importance of the material they are classified into uh, vital essential and desirable okay so uh, fsn analysis is based on frequency of usage hml analysis is based on um, you know cost per unit right now this ved is based on importance of that particular material in the production so here v stands for vital which is more important vital means we know that right vital is very important and we need more control over it okay and e stands for uh, essential the essential are not very important not not like you know they are not even critical and they are not even negligible they are in the middle stage so they are essential and they need normal control okay next moving over to d d means desirable desirable in the sense uh, even if you don't have them also nothing will happen if you if you are having them then that's well and good even if you're not having them with you also nothing will happen you can just manage with that okay so that is d desirable and less control is required for this okay so if you don't have the products which are coming under this desirable pro, uh, category that's okay you need not worry about them right if you are having it will be more good then so that is about ved analysis the next and the last analysis that we are going to learn in the inventory control technique is sde analysis scarce difficult easy so this is based on the availability of the goods or raw materials in the market so how easily you can buy them or how difficult it is to buy those kind of products so based on the availability they are classified into scarce difficult and easily okay so first is scarce scarce means difficult in the sense it is very difficult to buy them scarce means even more difficult so they are available in very less 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 amount okay so uh, almost 
you have to wait for more than six months in order to get these kind of materials and all okay and they require more time right and more control is required and d stands for difficult difficult in the sense you can get with them within two to six uh, two weeks to six months you can get them okay in case of scarce products you need to wait for more than six months in case of difficulty products you can get them within two weeks to six months and they require normal control and easy products are nothing but which are re readily available for you in the market you need not go anywhere or you need not wait for some time um, in order to get them okay so they are readily available and they require less control when compared to the other two done so this is about the different uh, techniques we have in inventory con uh, control we have seen abc analysis hml analysis uh, sd sed sorry sde bed fsn so we have seen different techniques right so that's all for this video i hope this video would be useful for you and uh, let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic if you're still having any doubts just let me know that in the comment section i'll definitely try to clear all your doubts for sure and uh, thanks for watching the video and if you're having your exam schedule nearby just let me know that in the comment section so that i can hurry up making the videos okay thanks for watching